Today, thanks to our motoring partner, goauto.com.au, we're celebrating a birthday, a 40th. And it's not mine, it's this, the Honda Evergreen Civic Hatch. Can you believe it's been with us since 1972? And in all that time, there's never been a new five-door Civic for the same price as the entry-level Toyota Corolla. Well, it's time to find out if life really begins at 40. Here's another Civic fact. The five-door hatch is actually built in England. That's why the latest version is such a rare sight on our roads. It costs almost $40,000. But with a strong Aussie dollar, the latest one now starts from just $22,650, or 30,000 for the top of the line VTIL Auto we tested today. From the moment you step inside the Civic, you realize just how sci-fi they've become. From the eerie blue dials to the cockpit style dash. But the thing is, it all works. And having the speedo mounted high up means you're constantly looking at the traffic in front of you. That's clever. And on either side of that are a line of lights that go from green to blue according to how heavy your right foot is. It's designed to encourage green driving habits. Good one, Honda. And at the back, the rear cushion lifts up so you can walk through the cabin, which is amazing. Better still, dropping the backrest reveals one of the most usable load space you're ever likely to see in a small hatch. Honda calls this the magic seat, and every Civic hatch has one. That's a big thumbs up for Honda. But while the driver enjoys a commanding view of the road, rear vision is pretty poor when parking. The rear cushion is set low and headroom is tight, forcing bigger folk to adopt a slightly uncomfortable knees up position. And unfortunately, there's a fair bit of tyre noise entering the cabin at speed. Likewise, when you get behind the wheel, the Civic is a bit of a mixed bag. The engine is quiet, smooth, and provides you with ample performance to get you around town. And as with all Hondas, you're probably gonna get decades of hassle-free motoring. Plus, the steering is surprisingly sharp, yet pleasingly light, imparting the Civic with exceptional handling agility. You really enjoy just zipping around the neighborhood in this pert little number. But while the automatic itself is no bad thing when you're just humming along, it needs a decent stab of the accelerator if you want a bit of extra oomph for overtaking on the highway. And there just isn't the level of finesse you'll find in the best small cars at this price range. If you spend some time in a Ford Focus or VW Golf, you'll instantly notice the Civic hatch is a bit more jittery and uncouth than it needs to be. Slightly smaller than other hatches in its class, the Civic is best enjoyed as an urban runabout. From its funky styling to its daring dash to its wonderfully practical magic seats, the Civic makes for a very sensible yet fun small car option. It's not perfect, but the Civic still has plenty going for it. Not least of all, a reputation of reliability 40 years in the making. And now it's priced so more of us can enjoy it. To find out more about the Honda Civic Hatch Series or read a full range of in-depth car reviews, click on to goauto.com.au.